we're in the University of Windsor Faculty of Nursing Simulation Area. We have, uh, this is actually called the Clinical Learning Center. We have practice labs and then we have health assessment or medical surgical labs, a uh, high fidelity simulation lab. The simulation lab serves the purpose to allow our students to have a chance to practice, uh, but not on real life patients, to practice in a simulated safe setting where they can um, do wonderfully well or they can make their mistakes, but in a safe environment without any harm to uh, real patients. It's really the essential thing about simulation is that they have the chance to experience. So we can teach theory and we can tell them this is what you should do in this case, but it's very different when you're actually applying what you've learned theoretically. So this is their opportunity to be able to apply what they've learned and what we try and do in our simulation lab is match the objectives of what we want them to accomplish based on what they've just been taught in theory. So they're having a chance to apply what they've just learned and in this case it's in a postpartum um, scenario. So we call it our labor and delivery suite and we have Noelle Kringle who has just given birth to a nine pound baby boy and we have her dad which is a standardized patient who uh, allows the students to have somebody who's real, who shows real emotions and who can interact a lot better than a static mannequin so that not only do they have to do the assessment on quite a sophisticated mannequin but they have to interact with a real person. In this scenario we actually have mom develop some complications and so they also need to be able to identify when their patient's condition changes and in this case their patient is their mom and dad and baby and so mom's condition changes and hopefully they can identify that there's been a change and critically think what they should do and that's part of what we want them to accomplish in this scenario.